What's going on guys and gals? How are you guys doing? Uh, this is T from Kaizen Focus TV back with another video log. Uh, this one is actually the, the fourth week slash uh, it's not the third week. Um, I kind of hurt myself last um, Sunday so I wasn't able to work that efficient. It was really difficult for me to kind of sit down and stand for a long time so I had hurt myself at work. So it was kind of really hard for me to kind of sit and do YouTube videos. So instead, I just opted to rest, get better, and then catch up this week, which is why I released the video this week. I know, you know, being hurt, I could have still been doing something, but I chose to rest and just feel better. Um, I know they all sound like excuses. Well, anyways. What happened last week? Um, I tried to reduce, produce uh, a video. Um, I learned quite a few things. Uh, I tried to record everything in one take, and I figured if I mess up, you know, just keep going forward. And then, uh, because of that, the video I was trying to release, which was about planning, was over 25 minutes long. So I had to try to go back. And I figured I edit out everything and uh, just do all that. And I found a lot of interesting things about the software video editor that I was using, Shotcut. Uh, it's a free one. At first, I thought it was pretty good. But then I start to realize that uh, the longer you use it or the longer the, the video, it's my assumption, um, the more likely it's going to mess up. Something went wrong with it. Um, imagine I, I was doing working on it and then spent over six seven hours and then it just freezes something happened to it. i can undo the the video and it freezes and i just lost six seven hours of recording and editing so um i, I wasted basically the whole day on that thursday friday uh of the week before the last last week and then um, I went back into it. I wasn't going to give up. I went to try to do it again. And then once I finish editing, I save everything to make that the content run a little more smooth. It's still kind of choppy. Then I started to go put in uh, the other videos trying to edit to make it look better. Some extra clips. And then it freezes again. There goes another four to five hours of work. Um, I, I wish it had... A mode where you can just save it in a few seconds it doesn't every time you save it you have to uh, export it and that could take 10 to 15 minutes to export so I can't you know do 10 to 15 minutes of work and then export another 10 to 15 minutes of work that's such, such a waste of time so that's why I don't save as often but I should have figured out you know if you've done a few hours of work maybe save it maybe at least uh, you know an hour, uh, but they're all learning experiences so uh, one that's really costly on time, but still it, it's I'm learning it's um uh, it's gonna get better so That um then the other thing I learned who was that um, When I tried to go back into it Sometimes if you go click back 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 too quick if you undo a few times it freezes as well, too and um I've had it, the shot cut uh, editor, I've had it just crash on me before, just disappear while I'm working. So a lot of new things I'm learning about shot cut. So either I'm going to, I learned that I should be trying to find another a video editor that's more reliable, which I will do. But at the same, at the time, current time being, I'm kind of stubborn. Didn't, I don't want to waste all the time I invested to learn all that and then just kind of throw it away out the window and try to find something else you know so am i either going to work with it or try to find someone out on some other program which i probably will but for right now i'm going to be working with it so what i learned is that while i'm doing the video i'm going to cut do it in three parts i'm going to record the first part and then i'm going to um just basically make it short, keep it short, and then second part, I stop, and then record second part, and that, and like that. 
So that way I can I only need to concentrate on that small part first. The introduction, whatever the first point is, and then uh, the second point, third point. It makes it easier for me to go through uh, a third of the video versus the whole 100% trying to keep it smooth, trying to do it right. And that way, if I do mess it up, I only need to record that 30% again, 30%. And I shouldn't be recording further into the next clip unless I like the clip before, unless I like the last 30%. And the reason I'm, why I'm doing that is it keeps it shorter, makes it easier. So that way when I go to edit on Shotcut, I only need to edit that 33% if it messes up. It's, a, it's not as long. I didn't waste six hours. And, uh, and then the same thing, second, third. So it makes it a little bit more manageable, a little easier. And um, I figured once I start clipping in the effects and everything as well too, once I'm satisfied, at least I have 30% completed and then 33% and then go on to the next 33. So it makes it easier. And once I finish the whole thing, then I can just go back and put them all back together and make one whole big uh, video instead of just trying to work on the whole video all at once. And I think that way it'll make it a little bit easier to handle, but we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Uh, so that's the, the issues with the shortcut and how I learned to resolve it. Um, the other thing is, um, what is it? I learned to do that shorter. I learned this week um, to make little shorter videos because while I'm still new, I need to produce as many videos as possible. And I find it very difficult to produce as many videos as possible. When I'm trying to make each video 10 minutes long, because everyone else suggests, you know, uh, you get paid more if you make longer videos, more than 10 minutes, because it adds more ads in, but I'm not getting paid at all. So I'm not worried about that. So my strategy is to make as many videos as possible. Uh, and then when I have maybe like 20, 30 videos inside uh, on the channel, then I'm gonna go start promoting myself to other channels. At least then it'll show that the count is at least 20 videos or 30 videos so they can watch, even if it's two to three minutes. Versus I only have like uh, four videos. That's it. That's all I have in the channel. How am I going to promote other channels to go watch, uh, you know, to go subscribe to my channel when I only have four videos and one of them is not, doesn't even count. It's really my technically my first video. Um, so that's the plan. Um, I learned that for you to get promoted on the YouTube algorithm, um, you have to increase the views, increase the sub counts uh, based on how many people sub while watching that video, um, how many people commented, how many people liked, you know, and that's all in a 24, and I've seen other things, I've read other things, it's 24 to 48 hours. So that would help if all of that increases, uh, YouTube would be, promoting your video more than likely uh, but we don't know I don't know anything about algorithms and computer stuff I seem to struggle with it all anyways yeah so um, I'm not too worried about it promoting right now more I'm worried about the whole um, the subscriber thing I, I don't know anybody you know and um, I guess that's like the biggest default the biggest fault for me is that uh, I, I don't I don't know how to promote myself. I don't know how to do that. So like everything else, I'm going to have to go out there. And I'm going to learn what to do and uh, let's just kind of figure it out. But I'm recording this so that way you guys can learn what I'm going through and maybe not make the same mistakes I did. Um, so it's almost going to be the end of the month. Today is the, the, the Sunday, the, was it, 28th, June 28th, 2020. Um, and I haven't had any, I have like 20 subscribers. <laughs> I'm going nowhere. <laughs> and nowhere fast. <laughs> so anyways, I'm supposed to concentrate on the subscribers too, because my plan was to get the, the amount of subscribers, the, the amount of views. Views I'm not too worried about. I figured once you get the subscribers, you're going to get the views. Um, to get it monetized as fast as, po as, fast as possible. Uh, so that way I can start earning and then everything else is gonna increase and I know it's gonna take up to two years possibly 
Uh, that's what everyone else has been saying. Um, but we're going to have to stick with it, you know. You're going to have to see that it's, it's worth it. And even after I was hurt, you know, didn't work, uh, I, I just kept on grinding. I kept on trying to work at the videos. But I just not a, I'm not a tech savvy guy. It just kept on freezing and I couldn't figure it out. And it seems to just give me difficulties everywhere I go. <laughs> but anyways, without that being said, uh, my next goal was because I did not, was not able to achieve my goals from what I said before, which was to uh, open up a bank account and uh, also make a, an AdSense account. That's what I'm going to be focusing on this week as well too. Um, um, trying to make release more videos that's shorter um, more in quantity so that way I can try to go find more subs and then find more methods to produce uh, to get more subs well that's all um, I will update you guys with the next video log and how the progress grows goes uh, hopefully I'll have more subs ideally if by the end of uh, next month which is july end of july uh, i hope to keep on promoting myself hope to reach that 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours and then i can start applying and then just go on from there all right thank you very much guys and girls you have a wonderful weekend a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you next time